Hello fellow VSFers. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use custom queries in your View Storefront 2 application. View Storefront under the hood uses the concept of composables and you can read more about them in our documentation section right here. Composables are used to store certain e-commerce platform data. So for example, you may have a use user or, or use category or use product or use store. Under the hood, this composable will send an appropriate GraphQL query to the e-commerce platform. In most cases, this default query created by View Storefront should be enough, but in some cases you might want to send a custom query that matches your business needs better. We have already created a documentation section about extending GraphQL queries and you can check it out right here. In this tutorial, I will be using the View Storefront and Commerce Tools integration that looks like this. The process of creating a custom queries and using them in your application is the same for any GraphQL based e-commerce platforms. So the process will be similar to Magento, Venger and Shopify integration as well. Let's jump to the code and implement the custom query in our homepage. As you can see, the project is already running on the port 3000. The folder structure here will be quite similar to other integrations like Magento, Shopify or Venger. The first step when implementing a custom query is to actually go to middleware.config.js file. In here, depending on the integration you will be using, you will already have the integration configured. In here, I have CT, which stands for Commerce Tools. To create a new custom query, we will go to the end of this CT object and right after the configuration, we will create a new object called custom queries and inside of it we'll create a new name for our custom query. Let's name it my custom query and this will be a function that will return our new query. So inside of this function we will also return an object that will have a property query and this query will be the GraphQL, GraphQL query that we want to send to our middleware and then to our e-commerce platform. So I will use the backticks here and inside I will say query and let's say products and inside of these products we will just for now, return count and the total. Make sure to remember this my custom query and the products names as we will use them in a minute. Let's restart the server to apply all the changes. In order to use this new custom query, we will go to the home page right here and then I can close it already I will go to the import section where I'm importing the composables from the certain integration package and in here I will just say use product next I will use this composable right here but with some different namings so we will go const products, which I will rename to custom products and then search method. And I will also rename it to custom search. And I will take it from use product and I will pass the ID 
custom products. Hey, hey, Jakub from the future here. When passing a ID for this use product composable, make sure to make it unique. As, as use product under the hood will use this unique ID to create a keys for products, loading, search, and the error object as well. Otherwise, you might run into issues and conflicts. So make sure to make this variable unique accuracy project. Now let's use this composable in our unmounted hook. Unmounted because then we will see the actual request in our network tab in the DevTools. Unmounted. And we'll say async. And inside of here, we will say await custom search. And inside, instead of the usual ID or name or Slack, we will pass custom query object. Inside of this custom query object, we will use a new property called products. And this products, it's exactly the same as the products here. So if it was categories in here, we would need to pass categories. And as a value for that, we will use the same name of the custom query from here, my custom query. Hey, hey, Jakub from the future once again. Use product composable under the hood uses the query called products. And that is why both here and in here, we need to send a query products. If you will be using another composable and custom query as well, make sure to check out what is the default query that is sent by the composable and the view storefront to the e-commerce platform. Let's save it and see the result in the browser. Let's check our network tab in the DevTools and restart the page. We will see a new request here called get product. And when we expect, expect the payload, we will see that there is a param called products and my custom query. So let's check the preview. And in the preview, we see data, products, count, and the total. Let's go back to the code and actually see the custom products from here in our view DevTools, custom products. View, and let's go to next and home. And we see in the custom products object, we have the data loading network status. And when we expand the data, we will see the same result as from the network tab. Let's now use this data in our template. Let's go back to the code. And just below the unmounted lifecycle hook, let's create a new computed property called total products, which will equal to computed. And the value of it will be custom products value data products and the total. Let's return this total products in our setup function right here. And let's go to the top of our application to our template. And just below the asset banner, let's just say you have total products in your shop. Let's save it and see the result in the browser. As you can see, we have this text. You have 2,703 in your shop. It's supposed to be products. <laughs> to sum up, 
you have just extended the default functionality of view store from composable use product with a custom query. This is just the beginning of customization options in ViewStorefront, so make sure to check all of them.